I totally lost the orientation about all these little spikes. Hello friends and followers, my name is Smo, I'm a German graffiti artist and today I want to paint some cool characters um, on my garden wall over there because I'm so happy. This video is sponsored by PUBG Mobile because they just released the new Royal Pass 14 with two incredible main character skins, the Red Commander set and the Avian Tyrant set and both look freaking dope. And these cool guys asked me if uh, it would be possible to paint these two cool characters on my garden wall. Yeah, I made a little photo montage on my iPad Pro. <laughs> sent it to them they said yes this looks really dope please paint this and this is what we want to do today so let's start so but first we need to print the characters print the black ink is empty looks much better. Now let's find out which kind of colors we definitely need. Some dark white and super light black. Oops. The very very first thing is because we need to get the right proportions I will fill in the whole space with a, with a doodle grid and I will explain you how I do it and why I do all this stuff and all these all these numbers and signs and stuff that I paint here are um, reference points The doodle schnoodle is done. I take a photo of the doodle. Boop. Now I have the photo with the doodle grid on my iPhone. I send it to my iPad. I go back to Procreate. I put the photo in there. So, and now I have the perfect orientation. This is what I want to paint. This is what I want to paint. And this is how it looks like now. I put the opacity on 50% so that I can see what I want to paint and I see the doodle grid at the same time. And now let's check out if we can find the perfect proportions. Okay, perfect. Now I have the perfect combination of the doodle grid and the characters and I can start painting. Yeah, it's a lot of preparation. But without preparation, it will probably look crooked. Painting, painting, USA. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, friends and followers. After just a half of an hour, the first lines are done now. You can directly see, here's the head, the arm, other hand, here's the other character. It looks a little bit confusing, but um, I would say that this is the most efficient way to get the right proportions on a wall without having to, to measure because the doodle grid is totally random and you don't need any electricity for for a, a projector or something you can do it with daylight you don't have to wait until it is dark to use a projector i know that the projector would be the really the easiest way but you need more equipment for it you the most of you out there have a smartphone or a tablet and you can you, know, you can do it easy and quick let's start with the next step doing the background
Yo, background is done. Uh, like you can see, I made the whole blocks in red so that um, if there are some black parts of the characters, so I have a bigger contrast. Yo, and now I will start with the big guy. Or is it a girl? Oh, it's a girl, I would say. It's a girl. But she looks a little bit creepy. <laughs> okay, let's paint the girl. There is a lot of detail <laughs> it is all much too small for the spray can. I try to get as close as possible but if you stand directly in front of this uh, face, yeah. You see it looks pretty blurry but uh, if you go a little bit away I think it's okay. I will just continue painting and uh, if I have the feeling that I still need to uh, do something more at this face and I think I will have to... It's too small. Okay, the brush, without a brush I would not be able to make it, ah, but this will be dope. Okay, but I will stop now, this is uh, already, I would say, 9 o'clock in the evening? Oh, it's half past 9 already, now I will stop and I will continue in 10 hours, I would say, tomorrow in the morning. The next morning. Let's start. One little tip from me. If you paint hair or fur or grass or um, uh, trees or uh, other random things with a lot of uh, details just paint something with something with something and at the end it will look pretty similar it does not need to uh, to be super accurate because nobody will notice it and i think there are more than two spikes missing but nobody cares Okay, the new colors, um, I, uh, I've put all the very colorful colors away because, uh, yeah, I don't need them for this guy. The most parts of the whole character is just gray. And this is great. <laughs> yeah, let's start painting the weird guy with the crazy hat.
<laughs> we are done! We are done! Do you want to see the final result? Oh yes, I would say these are the most highly de detailed characters that I have ever painted, I would say. Okay, this is the final result! Holy macaroni! This was a lot of work, but I would say it was definitely worth it. Um, please don't forget to download PUBG Mobile. Because in this Royal Pass 14, the Avian Tyrant and the Commander set look really fancy. But I like the Commander outfit the most. It has three different level looks and the red cape look is my favorite. Download PUBG Mobile and get your favorite Royal Pass 14 outfit now. <laughs> Check out the, the links in the description. Yeah, I hope that you were a little bit entertained. Please don't forget to like the subscribe button and I hope to see you in the next project.